Hello, it's Jeanette with Geomazing Paper Crafts. Thank you for joining me for another video tutorial. Today's video, I have a card that I'm calling the Puzzle Rose Rose Wonder Puzzle Card because in this card, if you can see, um, I pieced together some DSP to fill in the outline that I cut with the Rose Wonder or the Rose Garden Thinlet set. Now, you can get this Rose Wonder and Thinlets uh, die set as a bundle and save 15%. Uh, but today I'm going to just show you how to uh, do this little puzzle part on your card and maybe we'll have time to put uh, the card together. It is time consuming, but for me it was a lot of fun because I got to see how things just kind of came together really nicely. So, um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your Rose uh, Rose Garden Thinlet die, the big one, it comes with a few dies, but you want to take the big one and you want to take it to your big shot with a, a piece of black cardstock or you could actually use some of this DSP that I found uh, in the Botanical Gardens. It's got the really, really big pattern on it, but on the back it has this really uh, nice, um, just I don't know, this little pattern is very fine, but it's mostly black, and I preferred using the thinner cardstock with this uh, because it was just easier for me to uh, take it through my Big Shot. So, this piece measures 4 inches by 6 inches, and what I did was I put it through my Big Shot. Um, the first time I put it through my Big Shot, I didn't use any adhesive on the back of it, and that is something that you can do, and it will make your life a lot easier trying this so that you don't have to use any liquid glue, and that is to put some Too Faced tape, uh, such as um, uh, th this stuff here, where you peel off and you would stick it on here, and I'll show you how to do that on one of the smaller pieces, and then run it through the Big Shot, and then you've got your adhesive on it already. So. You'd run this through the Big Shot with your adhesive backing and then uh, just take it apart until you've got this outline. Let me bring this outline in. You want to take all the insides out uh, of this outline so that you have this. And I just left it on the adhesive tape. So let me show you how I do that, but I'm going to show you on the smaller one. Here is a piece of DSP from the wildflower fields and this is a uh, some DSP that you can get for free during celebrations so uh, we're going to use a, a, some of that paper today um, incidentally this paper I used is from the pretty petals uh, card stack um, that's this one here where you have all these really pretty designs here and I used that on vanilla cardstock and um, I just absolutely love the way this card turned out. It feels like a puzzle when you run your hand across it because that's kind of what it is. Okay, let's get started. All right, now you're going to take this piece of uh, DSP and you're going to put some uh, double-sided adhesive on there. I'm going to just peel this off and I hope that I'm going to be able to uh, adhere this straight. You don't have to be too perfect about it. Okay, so it's a little bit off, but I'm okay with that. Let me grab some scissors. Grabbing my paper snips, and I'm just going to uh, snip off that little extra that came over on the side. And now I'm going to bring in my big shot. And what you need to do after you you know after you cut with this, you need to make sure that all of the pieces are out of here because it's is quite an intricate die. So I'm going to just place this like this, and I'll bring my Big Shot in. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Alright, now we're going to make our sandwich. I'm putting this down. Okay, and that kind of leaves you uh, with enough room. This one, uh, this green piece measures two and a half by three inches, and it leaves you uh, with enough room to do this part and then to come across with this end here to do this part up here. Okay, so you should have enough in, uh, if you position this right. Now, let me make sure I'm positioning this right. Okay, yes, all right. Now I'm going to just take this and I'm going to roll it back. A 
couple of times. So that's one back and forth, and here's twice back and forth. And I just want to make sure those pieces get cut really good. You, depending on your big shot, you might just need to just roll it over one time, but I find that rolling it over twice ensures that it will get cut. Let me put that away. Okay, here we go. And so now I'm just going to remove all of these little pieces here. I mean, all the, the, the outline piece here. And that'll get me ready for this other side here. And then, with your paper piercing tool, you'll want to just poke out all of the pieces. Okay. And just try to get them all out. All at one time and try to keep it all together too, if you can. Now this is gonna take a while for me to, you know, pull this out, so I'll try to fast forward. So I've got this thing out of the die. I'm going to just tear this piece off here. I don't need that. Okay. And so now I'm able to pull all the pieces up from here. So I've um, I've, I've already done that with the rose piece. And this is the piece that, this is the paper that I'm going to use. It's also from the Wildflower Fields DSP that you could get for free. And so I did the same thing. I put the tape on the back of it and I ran that through. And now I've got all these little pieces that I'm going to be pulling up for this card. So the next step is to get your base uh, your card base together. Now this is eight and a half by uh, by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter, and I'm going to fold that. Just make sure that it's folded really nicely. And I'm going to use my bone folder here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of a background. And for that, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that you can do for a background. But I think I'm going to use my gorgeous grunge uh, stamp here. And I will get out my block that will fit Gorgeous Grunge. And for that, I'm going to be using uh, this DSP has a little bit of uh, Rich Razzleberry. No, I'm sorry. I believe that's Blackberry Bliss. That's what this has in it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of Blackberry Bliss. And I am going to just... Uh, randomly uh, make some background just so that it looks like it's painted splats. I, I really love this stamp because it just, oh, it's just so fun. <laughs> it's got so many really cool uh, spots on it and they're, and they're so random. It looks like you just um, sprayed some paint on it. It's kind of cool and it gives you a really nice little background, uh, an interesting background. Okay. Okay, so now I'm ready to lay my rose piece on here. And I am going to just see where it might fall. Okay, I think that's good right there. <clears throat> I'm going to take this off of the, the backer sheet. And... I think we are going to put it right there. Okay. Isn't that pretty right there? Okay. So we can either start with the leaves or the inside or, or the rose. I think I'll start with this smaller leaf that I believe I punched. I, I already have it cut out for you just to, uh, for, um, for speed. I went ahead and cut some of these already out already. So now let me take the backer piece, the backer paper off of this, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this puzzle piece on. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the whole, just replacing the inside with your DSP that, that you've cut out. 
and they should fit perfectly if you did it right and I will fast forward so that you won't have to watch me do this whole thing in real time I have all the little puzzle pieces on here and now all I have to do is just put a sentiment and I'm going to be using a sentiment uh, from this bu uh, this bundle this Rose Wonder bundle it's a, the thank you sentiment and I'm going to be also using some DSP from the Bohemian stack that's got this Blackberry Bliss on the uh, on on the one side I thought that was kind of a nice little background there or you can use a solid piece too and I stamped it I brushed a little bit of this uh, uh, oval which is the scallop the large scallop oval and I'm going to go ahead and put some Stampin Dimensionals on here I think I'll put about three of them one two three see I think about right there now I can also like uh, dress it up with some wink of Stella or some basic pearls or some basic rhinestones uh, just to dress this car this card up which I'll probably do later but I just thought I'd show you this technique and I hope that you'll try this um, it's a lot of fun and yes it is time-consuming but for me, it was kind of relaxing, and I really enjoyed doing these cards. So um, if you need any of these supplies or any of the tools that I used in this video, please go to my website at www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net, and I'd be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. So once again, this is Jeanette with Geoamazing Paper Crafts, and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.